Hello and welcome, I'm Raziel and so today I'm going to do a miniature review and I'm doing Judge Anderson for Warlord Games Judge Dread game. A game I absolutely enjoy, I think it's a fantastic game and if you're into Judge Dread, this is definitely worth you picking up. It's a cheap, it's a cheap box and it's pretty cool. Now, again, like the I Am The Lost Star box, I love the artwork on the box. I love it when games do this. I like it when they go a little bit beyond. It's not just a photo of their models. It's, you know, a little bit of artwork which helps you tie it all together. And you're actually using artwork from, and actually a very iconic scene for Judge Anderson as well, from 2000 AD really kind of sells this box. I think it's a really good thing. Not many people talk about boxes, but I do think they do need to be discussed from time to time because they are the thing that sells it to you should you see it on a shelf. It's £20.50 and from, you know, if you just read this bit here, it can seem a bit steep. £20.50 for a single model? Yeah, that seems a little bit steep. However, it's not. It is two models, and that's what makes it great. You have Judge Anderson on her lawmaster, and you have Judge Anderson on her own. Let's bring up nice big, there we go. And as you can see, they are very com comic accurate. I think that's fantastic. The fact that they are very accurate to the comic is really nice. I love the fact that they haven't done anything different. They haven't tried to, I don't really want to say this, like, over-sexualise her. She's exactly as she is in a comic. This is how Judge Dredd is. This is how the judges are. They're very, very strict. They're very proud of their uniforms. They don't wear it all the way down. They didn't do anything that wasn't out of the comics here. She doesn't wear her helmet. She is a side judge. Side judges have to wear their helmet, cannot wear their helmets because it does interfere with their abilities and even though in the classic in the film dread where he goes i think a bullet to the brain might interfere with your abilities a little bit more yeah paraphrasing there but great great film worth watching and this is a fantastic one so you so you get two models you get her on the lawmaster and you get her on foot okay pre uh, this won't affect my overall school as always i do mention it as always is that's a single model that's a single molded model not something I like, as you guys know. It's not something I enjoy. I like building, and that did kind of upset me at the start, but we'll get to that later. Whereas this one is not, there is actually quite a bit of building on this one. Okay, arm um, and putting the bikes together and the, basically the handlebars. But it is a good model. However, there are some issues I've noticed, such as. It, there does need to be a bit of trimming from the actual studs where they're meant to go. I just found this in I found this on the Judge Dread model, and I found it on and as well. And so you do actually need to trim some of that down. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, and it kind of does show that, you know that Warlord Games resin isn't the best. I'm not saying it's horrible, okay? Just because I say it's not the best doesn't mean it's nasty. It's, it's workable. It's fine. It's just not the best. And unfortunately for myself, I do actually have a very high standard for resin because of War Cradle. Okay? War Cradle to me make the best resin. And that is a whole old die on. But also it's given me some really bad habits, which I learned while building this model. Painting this model was very simple. Well, we'll get to the Lawmaster one, we'll just do the side judge first, we'll just do her on her foot first. I found this very easy to paint. It was absolutely easy. It was a fun, what, an hour to get her completely finished and completely painted. It was fun, enjoyable. I'm not any near a pro painter, but it didn't take me very long. And this is something I really do enjoy about the Judge Dread game, is that they are quite simple and easy to paint. It is a game that you can get into very, very quickly. And that's kind of the point of the game, in my opinion. It's a skirmish game where you just play for half an hour, play for an hour, and you're done. You know, it's something you can just play quickly, collect the models for, and that's it. And the models being able to be painted that way as well, not taking up a lot of your time, again, just shows that this is a game for people who are busy but play, want to play war games. This is a busy person's game. Now, 
the Lawmaster's version, this version here, it's, it's a lovely model, don't get me wrong. And uh, I did actually find there was a bit of a gap, which I can't show you on this one, at the bottom, where it wasn't quite flush. Okay. And like I said, I did take a little bit more trimming and a little bit more work than compared to when I do anything with Raw Cradle. But one of the bad habits I have picked up with Raw Cradle is not washing my resin and not priming it. This is why I say Raw Cradle's resin is the best, and it is. And I'm having to make this comparison so you guys can get an idea. When I use, when I make Wildest Exodus models, I don't prime them, I don't wash them, I put them together and I paint them, and I've had no issues at all. And this is over a hundred different models. Whereas with Judge Anderson, uh, I found the model was quite oily when I opened it. I know this isn't anything new or odd, from, you know, basically any resin model. It's quite a common thing. I did find a lot of paint separation, so I had to paint it twice. I literally had to clean it all off and start from scratch. I basically washed it in a hot soapy water, warm soapy water, did all that, and then once I and then I primed it, and then that's it. And you do need to do that for this model. I found this one in particular was the worst one. And that's it. And now, apart from that, and of course, you know, that she's a single model model for that. But again, that doesn't come up. This was actually a fun build. Uh, it was an incredible, enjoyable build to paint both these models, to build the bike, to build her on that. The pose is different. It looks really cool, by the way. And she kind of, if we can just show you on her bike, you can see she's really pushing herself forward on the bike there. She's not just leaning forward, she's pushing herself forward. Now, I would say she's either pushing herself forward or she's quickly jumping on the bike. You know, it's a nice action pose, which makes it really cool. And the other really cool thing is, it's clearer on this picture, is that it does say Psy, as Psy Judge, on her badge, which I think is an absolutely fantastic thing. I think it's great. Because that's, it's these little details that really shine and make this feel like a proper Judge Dredd miniature. And if you're into Judge Dredd, this is one, she's absolutely fantastic. She's a beast on the battlefield. You, once again, showing that you don't need a lot of miniatures for Judge Dredd. And there you go. Great get model. I Fantastic. I loved it. But given that it was very oily, and I do mean very oily, the Lawmaster in particular... I would say this is about an 8 out of 10. It's the resin that kind of lets it down. There was a lot of more extra work I shouldn't have had to do. And extra work I've not found on like Forge World, Mantic or War Cradle or Conquest. Like trimming the studs down. I'm not talking about trimming you know, the flash off or anything like that. I'm actually saying I had to cut the studs down to get them to fit into the right place. And... It just that and the oiliness kind of lets it down. It's a fun model, model to build, it's a good looking model, it's absolutely enjoyable, but definitely an 8 out of 10, especially for Judge Dredd fan like myself. I think that's probably why I did give it a little bit higher because I am a Judge Dredd fan and Sai Judge Anderson is one of my favorites. However, that's where I'm going to stick with. And if you wish to get Sai Judge Anderson for cheaper than £20.50, go down to Whaling Games down below. And I think she's like 17 quid, something like that. Like, it's quite a saving. Fantastic. You get two models for a decent price. And cannot argue. Anyway, at that time, well, affiliate time, you have Wayland Games 20% off, up to 20% off your wargaming and free delivery after £20. There is Forbidden Planet for comics, DVDs, mangas, all that really cool geeky stuff. There's my merchandise as well. T-shirts, stickers. There's my comics. If you want to see Little Red Riding Hood, go absolutely ham on some cyborg werewolves. And finally, Skyforge. Never forget Skyforge. And finally, Patreon, because business.